This is the most exclusive resort you can get here in Ghana, maybe even in Africa. This is the Safari Valley Resort. It's located somewhere in the eastern region of Ghana, in Adukrum, sitting just in the valley. It is beautiful. They're all about conservation, and every architecture, everything right here has a meaning. I finally made it to Safari Valley, Ghana's first class destination. This is a part of West Africa most people haven't seen for themselves. I personally haven't seen it myself. Please give this video a like and help us reach our goal of 200,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel. Thank you. A man named Mr. Afari, Samal Afari, came around this place to co purchase just a small piece of land for rubber plantation. But on arriving here, he thought more could be done. So the vision of this place was to create a world-class, environmentally conscious and a sustainable habitat industry brand that brought people closer to nature. This is not just a resort, it's an inhabitant for wildlife and plants. The mode of transport on the resort is basically electric cars. Because we are an eco resort, we try not to put any fuel emission vehicles inside the resort. You know how it is, it affects the atmosphere, it can kill the animals and the plants at the same time. It's really not good for humans as well. We are supposed to take you away from the urban areas where you have a lot of noise and polluted air into a place where you have fresh air and fresh environment for you to breathe in. It's mm. also therapeutic when you come here, apart from you coming to relax, you get to see things that takes you away from the urban areas. The resort boasts of over 60 species of both indigenous and introduced birds, making it a bird watching destination as well. The wallabies, the uh, emus and all that, they are selective animals that we brought here so that we can help interact with humans. These are friendly animals obviously, yeah. so they are not harmful and all, exactly. right? So these are very unique chickens over here, what did you call them again? Them silk chickens, silk chicken. right? As we grow, some animals go extinct, mm. it's our duty to also keep them here so that in the future as a form of education, yeah. people can come and see these animals and how they are. So right in front of us is our front of house, which we call the Cinema Welcome Center. That is designed to look like a leaf that has been turned over. As we go on the tour, you get to see a lot of structures or infrastructure that have been designed to look like things that are lively. So beyond here, you can see a vast golf course. This is a nine-hole golf course. So those golf enthusiasts, we have a lot of groups coming here to have golf tournaments, mm. corporate groups coming here to enjoy golf games, and even individuals coming here to enjoy their golf while they are staying with us. And this is always kept as green as you can see. When you come here to you, you are here to enjoy, you can get to ride on a horseback. We call yeah. here the Bro Gymnasium, going back to the fact that we're giving respect to the neighboring towns. Yeah, um, this right here is the gym. It's actually very well equipped. It's really nice to see a well equipped gym in a resort. So this is the pool, uh, it's over 13.5 meters long and then the deepest end is about 5.3 feet. This is sort of like the public pool, each chalet actually has its own pool so this is just optional but I think this is bigger than the other ones right? So if you really want to have those long stretch swim this is where you're going to come to. The recreational is really complete you know you have a pool, you have a gym, you have a, you know, you have a bar, you have a tennis court, a long tennis, a basketball, a football, a golf course as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is complete out here. Huh? So all in one activity. So you come here and uh, I think any sports, any sports you you actually you love, it's right here. Even as little as dominoes. What do you call the local game? Oh, Hawaii, huh? Can you play? Can you drop it? Yeah, I can do a really good game. <laughs> Um, this right here is the conference center. It's called Busemasi. It's uh, it was named after a neighboring town. And you see, they always try to acknowledge, you know, the nearby communities and give, would I say, respect to them by naming their halls and spaces that way, right? So, it's a meaning to the drums. You know, it's an African setting, and they're trying to make sure they still use that African decor in their architecture. So, yeah, you can take 35 to 50 people max. You can have 
any type of meeting, business, leisure. Can it take birthdays as well? We have spaces for birthdays. For birthdays as well, okay. So um, the conference can take 35 persons. They are projecting screens. There's one, two, there's three. We have flip charts, we have projectors. Anything at all that makes your conference very simple or very suitable, we have it right here for you to enjoy. And there's also an upper deck just on top, just in case you want to stay on top of the... Okay, really nice. So welcome to the chapel. We call the Mount Chapel. We're giving respect to a neighboring town called Mount on top of the mountain. Yeah. Uh, this is a place not for religious purposes, but for small events, you know, small birthday settings, small private weddings, you know, christening, baby naming, and all that. And then exchange of vows and small events and stuff. Even birthdays, I yeah. spoke to you about. This is the right spot. Okay. For this, yeah. But it could be for celebrations of life. You exactly. Know? Even celebration of life, you said. <laughs> Any form of event that you want to do here, yeah. So, how many people can it take? Well, it's a small place. Can take up to maybe 10 but because you have sites on the left and right you can do more than 100 i mean you have a space on left and right and even behind the thing so yeah 100 can even do yes so i'm taking you to one of the single room cabins yeah. what we run here is what we call the butler service system and it's literally uh, somebody a trained person who's more like a person between you and other departments when you're in the resource. So you can totally be in your rooms while you tell the person what you want. He can arrange for massages, he can arrange for meals, he can arrange for anything at all that you want for you while you're staying. And each cabin has a butler assigned to it 24-7. Welcome guys to the single chalet on here. This is what it looks like. So you have a lot of green spaces all around. The spot for a bonfire on here. And then you have an outside dining option and then you have a pool, right? So just in case you don't want to go use the pool, right there at the entertainment center, you can have it on here. All right, so this is what the interior of the single chalet looks like. I'm speechless because it's really nice, really luxurious. It has that safari vibe. And I know that that's what this is all about, right? But the first thing I have to say is, look, you have two cooling systems, a standing and then a split unit to make this place as cool as possible because you know, in Ghana, you're closer to the sun, right? You have a couch on here. Now look, everything looks very African. I think they really did not import anything except probably for the TV and the ACs and all, but you can see even down to the, uh, the, the reading lamp over here, it's made with car parts, you know, really nice the tables are all wood wooden floor as well space for your you know clothes and everything a safe locker on there to put your private to your private properties and look this is life plant so for you to have a life plant in a suite it means it's really well taken care of because these things need care more than a human being sometimes you know we have the the, the bed i haven't seen a, a bed frame as unique as this um this is like what do they call it again Oh uh, yeah, these are bicycle chains, huh? Bicycle chains put on, oh shit, this is really creative. <laughs> really nice, so you have that as your bed lamp. And then, guys, instead of getting like uh, a usual bathtub, you have the one made of wood. Come on, man, I'm, I'm giving these guys some accolades over here. You have the outdoor shower on here. You have like two ways to have your bath, so you can do it outside or in here, but come on, you're in a resort, you're here to relax, so you probably will be having your bath here, so you no rush, right? He's and has vanity and then you have the toilet on there. We have, you know, sort of like a Dex, you have your coffee maker, a fridge on here as well. So this costs at about a thousand US, a thousand US, and that's like in a normal season. So I know peak seasons can be a little bit more and I know they have a rate, a Ghanaian rate. So this is the single chalets. They have about 32 of these ones and then they have nine of the two bed, of the three bedrooms which are the most luxurious. So I'm going to take you guys there shortly, all right? But for the meantime, let me know what you think. For me, this is luxury. This is prestigious. And when you say an African resort, you can call this an African resort. Guys, this is the Mahogany. It's the biggest chalet right here in the resort. It's about three bedrooms, private pool, bigger living room. So the owner of the resort is a forest scientist. So he named this after the timber called Mahogany.
the chalets, they all come in like different architectural types and it always have a meaning, you know. Let's go inside, let me show you guys what it looks like. For me, I really do like it. You can sleep six people, so if you're one of those persons that you're traveling with family and you need all of you all to be in the same uh, space at the same time, this is the ideal space. So um, let me show you guys what it looks like. Pool should be about three feet deep. Really nice, so you have your, your chair, they're gonna set towels for you if you're ready to, you know, use this and, you know, there's a dining setup here as well, so if you wanna have dining here, that's also possible. So right here you have a, a fountain, a water fountain. All right, welcome guys. So this is the inside space. This is really big, it's a really big space right here. You have a couch on here, come closer. You have a TV, and then you have two fridge on here, all complimentary waters and everything, coffee maker, so this is like, your mini bar, something like that. <laughs> so you see you have glass facade wrapped around the property so at every point in time you can look outside and probably spot an animal outside, you know? So this, uh, you have the guest or your visitor's washroom right here for your visitors. So all the rooms come in suite. This way leads us into the rooms, right? Very nice walkway, you know? You're just walking around and then you have a view of the pool on there. Really nice. So you have the first room here. We have the second room here, but I'm just going to show you the primary room, which is really lovely. I mean, you can't possibly perceive this, but it smells of wood, probably the mahogany, <laughs> right? So, ta-da, this is what you have on here. You can open this door. For every room we go to, we're always in a different concept. So, I don't know, so it's cut off from a, a, I don't know, a gas cylinder or something like that. And then, <laughs> this guy is like crazy. Split unit on there, and then right here you have, um, I know you saw this in the other room, but you have a wooden bathtub. This is really unique. I haven't seen any, like, I've been going to so many resorts, and I haven't seen anything like this, so. An inbuilt toilet, and then of course you have an outdoor shower here. So this is a storage for your clothes on here. Clothes, shoes, and every other luggage you have, huh? This room comes at 3,000 US in normal season. And obviously you can always call them in for discounts here and there, but let me know guys, do you think you can pay that amount for this? <laughs> let me know in the description, cause you know you've seen more expensive resorts. So let's see if we can justify this. Let me know guys. This is the canal. It's the centerpiece of the entire development here at Safari Valley. You can partake in the canoe ride, but this location also serves as a breakfast or dinner option. So this is one of our water, the many water features we have on site. This is one of the canals. This is even the smaller version of the canal that we have. Another big one down there. This location is mainly for dinner setups. Mm. So you have that beautiful ambience with a bonfire, with barbecue grill and some music at the background. Such a spectacular feature. So people love to have cabins close to these canals for them to enjoy. It's also a place where people can meditate. I mean, focus on the sound of the fountain or the water, that sound, that breeze and ambience. It's a very good spot for people to meditate as well. You can admire the swans and dogs swim around the canal. All right, guys, so lunch is served. Let's see what we have here. We have a little bite on here. Let's see, Let's see it's prongs. I, li I like prongs so much. Huh? I was served with prongs and shrimp sauce with orange juice. Mmm. Wow. Really nice, huh? And yeah, I'm really hungry. You know, this is, uh, this is also, uh, you can have, I think they can arrange a breakfast or dinner here for you. If you come and you want to sit here and eat. It's really nice. I love the experience. This is the Seabar restaurant. It's where all meals are cooked and all dining experience start from. Apart from you eating around your cabins or eating around certain places around the canal or water features, this is also another beautiful place where you can have your lunch, your breakfast, your dinner. You know that maybe you want to have your snacks and all that. So in Safari Valley, every aspect of the place tends to a garden. Apart from our own farm, we have an, an organic farm. That's all our produce here used for production of food is brought in from there. So we do 80% local and only 20% continental. So from Nigerian meals, Ghanaian, just mention it. Whatever thing you want to eat coming from Africa, we are the ones who are going to make it happen for you. Before leaving the resort, I visited Asenema Waterfalls. 
it is added as an optional activity you can engage in while visiting the Safari Valley. So welcome to the waterfall. This is part of your adventure where you're staying with us at the Safari Valley Eco Resort. After everything you've done, you come here to come and relax and enjoy the place. It's one of our local gems that are really bright. So as part of your experience, we bring you here to have another kind of forest or waterfall experience. Thank you for watching our videos and making our 2022 worth it. I do appreciate all of you and I'll see you in 2023 with fresh new episodes. Subscribe to the channel and keep following me through this journey.